no one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that this world was being watched keenly and closely by intelligences greater than man. You may know H.G. Wells for his iconic science fiction stories, War of the Worlds, The Invisible Man, The Time Machine. But here are five things you might not have known. Although he never became an academic, as a young man, Wells won a scholarship to Imperial College London, where he studied under the eminent biologist T.H. Huxley, a contemporary of Charles Darwin's. Wells was friends with astronomer Richard Gregory, who was also the editor of Nature. Over the years, Wells wrote essays, correspondences and commentaries for Nature's pages. In fact, Wells didn't describe himself as a scientist or an artist, but as a journalist. The first two books that Wells published were textbooks. This biology reference book was so popular that it ran into many editions. Unlike most prominent figures of his day, Wells was from a poor family. His parents were born as servants and later became shopkeepers. Wells himself escaped apprenticeships in drapers' shops to follow the path of an intellectual, inspiring his lifelong reverence for education. OK, that is a bit of a stretch, but he did propose something eerily similar. In a lecture in 1936, Wells presented what he called the world brain. He described an encyclopedia which should be alive and growing and changing continually, under revision, extension and replacement from the original thinkers in the world everywhere. He added that its contents would be the standard source of material for the instructional side of school and college work, for the verification of facts and the testing of statements. Sound familiar? So, to recap, Herbert George Wells was a scientifically trained, textbook writing son of shopkeepers who published not only some of the world's most influential science fiction, but also political, social and scientific commentary in journals like Nature. Oh, and he proposed a version of Wikipedia almost half a century before anyone had even heard of the web. Well done, Wells. Mm -hmm.